Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, an ENT consultant practicing at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Eshwantpur, and Srinivas Specialty ENT Center are located at Eshwantpur. Deviated nasal septum. Most people who would have visited an uh, ear, nose, throat surgeon at any point of uh, time uh, would be familiar with this terminology because 70% of the normal population uh, has uh, some deviation of the nasal septum which is uh, actually a normal phenomenon. Now does every deviated nasal septum require uh, surgical correction is a question which has no simple answer. What we do is we recommend surgery only in those patients in whom the main complaint would be nasal obstruction. That is, they come to us with um, symptoms which are suggestive of difficulty in breathing through the nose or a perceptible uh, blockage of the nose, recurrent cold, recurrent sinus problems. The other situations where we do recommend deviated nasal septum surgeries are as an access surgery. That is, sometimes we will need to do surgeries in the part of the nose which is quite at the back using an endoscope and if you have a deviated nasal septum that would come in way. So for us to get access to that uh, area we may have to do a septoplasty or a septal correction to reach that area. Now why does deviated nasal septum occur is something which uh, we need to understand. Uh, since 70% of the population is supposed to have uh, a deviated nasal septum this is something which happens uh, at birth itself. So one of the theories or hypothesis is uh, the pressures that a baby has to endure as the face uh, comes out of the vagina during normal delivery uh, itself causes uh, some micro fractures inside the septum and hence uh, small alignment or misalignment uh, leading to deviated nasal septum is uh, one of the proposed hypothesis. Now as the child grows uh, so does the nose and a straight septum will grow straight a bent septum will grow bent. At some point of time, some of the people will start experiencing nasal obstruction, that is a difficulty in breathing, blocked nose, uh, and because of that, they will be getting repeated colds, and because of repeated infections, they may even get polyps, uh, which are formed um, on one side or sometimes both sides, and hence will be recommended surgery.